Sure thing, Freddy. They're wonderful. Gotta go, Sam. <laughs> Bye, Freddy. Whoa! treasure chest, we have no food. I'll find your treasure chest, Grandma Grouper. Oh, thank you, Freddy. Here's my last peanut butter and jellyfish sandwich for your journey. Good luck, Freddy. Don't worry, Grandma Grouper. I'll find your kelp seeds. Hello, Freddy. I'm so worried about the kelp seeds. I'm going to search for your kelp seeds, Grandma Grouper. Good luck, Freddy. Goodbye, Grandma Grouper. Somebody else found the voice. <laughs> Maybe somebody else found it first. Of course, someone else found it first, you spongehead. Come on, we gotta find that bottle. Oh, we're shark bait. But, boys, do we are sharks. Shell off, Herman. I wish I could get some sleep, Freddy. But this shell, it glows all day. It glows all night. I wish I could trade it for a shell that doesn't glow. Welcome to King Crab's Castle. We found another purple sea urchin. Hi, King Crab. Great 
Greetings, Freddy and Luther. Welcome to my castle. It's so nice of you to visit me, Freddy and Luther. I do love when my citizens come to my castle. jellyfish to feed the animals. I'll toss the jellyfish to the hungry animals and you can keep track, Luther. On your mark! Get set! It's feeding time!
What a pretty pearl. Let's go get it. But Freddy, how are we going to get through the net to get the pearl? Hi, Ray. <laughs> you can't get through the shrimp net unless you got the super duper duka booka poly gizmo. But you can't get the super duper duka booka poly gizmo unless you give me a clock. Where are we gonna get a clock? Look in the junkyard. It's a key. I wonder what it will unlock. The old whale bones are over here. Look, the next bottle! The note says, go to the junkyard. Luthar, we found another clue to Grandma Grouper's kelp treasure. I put clues in the bottle so I could find my way back to where I hid the kelp treasure. Well, if you can't find that treasure chest, you're gonna have to answer to the squid father. Please, boss! Not the squid father! I'll clam up, spongehead! Fiddler Crab. Thanks for unlocking the cage. Here, you can have my fishing pole. We'll find Grandma Grouper's kelp seeds, Luther. Purple Sea Urchin for saving my Gabby. Thanks, Mrs. Halibut. Herman, I brought you a new shell that doesn't glow. Freddy, Freddy, Freddy! It's wonderful! Just a second! Here, Freddy! Maybe you can use this glowing shell! Thank you, Herman! Good night! Luther, we should hurry up and find the kelp treasure! Purple 
Mr. Starfish, your math teacher for today. Welcome to class. How hard do you want the questions to be? Easy, medium, hard, very hard, or advanced? Advanced. Advanced it is. What is 37 plus 27? 64. Very good. Here's another equation. How much is 65 plus 25? 90. You're right. Now let's try another. How much is 24 plus 15? 39. You're right. We've gotten three questions right. Let's do another problem. What is the difference of 68 and 33? 35. You're right. Here's another equation. How much is 54 plus 27? 81. You're right. Yay! 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 Let's do another problem. The junkyard is over here. Look, Freddy, the model. Now we're gonna be rich, rich, rich. Luther, I don't want to wake up the junkyard dog. So now you got to see the squid father. Oh, please, boss. Not the squid father. The squid father. You're welcome, Ray. Now you get the super duper duka booka poly gizmo. Thank you for the super duper duka booka poly gizmo. Nice doing business with you. I don't see how this thing is gonna get us through the net. <coughs> oh, that's how. Watch the pearl closely. Where 
there is the pearl. You're right! Hooray! Hooray! Take this pearl as your prize. But only one pearl per customer. Thanks! give you this beautiful bottle if you would give me a beautiful pearl Ooh, what a lovely pearl Freddy and Luther now you may have my beautiful bottle thank you King Crab Do hope you'll find Grandma Grouper's treasure. I put all my clues in bottles so I could find my way back to the treasure. I thought I put the first bottle at the Nexus. Let us in our wreck. But, but, Squid Father. Or was the first bottle at the old whale bones? Come on, Spongehead. Think. The Squid Father trusted us to hide the stolen kelp treasure for him. <laughs> but, 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 Squid Father. Oh no! He's spewing ink! I remember where the treasure is! Come on, Spongehead. <laughs> That old shipwreck has held so many treasures over so many years. We're looking for Grandma Grouper's treasure. Good luck, mates. Hey, Freddy, what do you think is behind that window? Look, Luther. Grandma Grouper's cup treasure is in there! Yes! Now I'm gonna be rich, rich, rich! Luther, Grandma Grouper's cup treasure is for everyone to share. And besides, the window is closed and it's much too heavy to open. If we can find a handle for the crank, we can crank open the window and swim inside. Let's go find a crank handle. Let's go find a crank handle. 
Sailor on the Seven Seas. Arg! Phineas doesn't need a crutch. Arg! There's just one word that says it all. Arg! Arg when I'm happy. Arg when I'm sad. Arg when I'm good or bad. Arg! Arg to port. Arg to starboard. Arg from stem to stern. Arg, yes, Wabby! Arg! And a yo-ho-ho, hum-hum, my chum! Arg! What's that you say? Arg! I can't hear ya! Arg! One more time! Arg! Very good! Excellent! In fact... Arg! Arg! The handle is broken! Arg! If you could find old Phineas another musical instrument, I would gladly trade you this useless crank handle. And start. Would you like this crutch? Aye! Me old crutch! Thanks, matey! Now I don't need this old mandolin. Would you like it? Yes, please! Thanks! instrument for you? Great! Here, take this crank handle. Thanks, Phineas. Arg! There's just one word that says it all. Arg! Arg when I'm happy. Arg when I'm sad. Arg when I'm good or bad. Arg! Arg to port. Arg to starboard. Arg from stem to stern. Arg! Arg, yes, Wabby! Yo-ho-ho, hum-hum, my chum. Arg! What's that you say? Arg! I can't hear ya. Arg! One more time. Arg! Very good. Excellent. In fact, Glowing shell! It's Grandma's last peanut butter and jellyfish sandwich. It's a fishing bowl. I have five purple sea urchins. The super duper duka booka polygasmo can open the shrimp net. Let's go get Grandma Grouper's kelp seeds. Hot dog! I'm gonna be rich! We found Grandma Grouper's treasure chest! Grandma Grouper's kelp treasure! Yeah! Ah, 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 ah. <gasps> Uh-oh. Told you we'd find the treasure, boss! Okay, you two. Hand over the treasure. 
No. Grandma Grouper's kelp seeds are for everyone to share. But we gotta take the treasure to the squid father so we can grow some kelp. If we share the seeds, we can all grow kelp. Share the kelp seeds? Gee, boys. The kelp seeds are for everyone. Wait. I got an idea. We can share the kelp seeds. <laughs> Great idea, boys. Yes. <laughs> Let's go tell the squid father we're all going to share. Hi! Kelp, you found the kelp, the marvelous kelp. Sorry, I'm 
I'm late, Freddy. I just had to find my Codfish Commando action figure for show and tell. That's okay, Luther. But we better get going before we're late for school. The schoolhouse is over here. Freddy, did you bring everything you need for school? Of course I did, Luther. In fact, I'm ready for a great day. And I hope you are too. I've had my breakfast. I've got my books. Comb my bin. Check out my looks. Ready for learning. And to have some fun. Heading off to school. Our day's begun. haunted by a ghost, and that the ghost is stealing their toys. I saw the ghost, Mrs. Croker. It stupefied me with fear, and then it stole my toy. Oh. Ah! Hey, that's my toy! Oh. It couldn't have been real. There's no such thing as ghosts. Luther and I will find that so-called ghost and get back all the toys. Good luck, Freddy. <laughs> you think that ghosts can swim through walls? I wish I could. With all this spooky stuff going on, maybe Mrs. Croker will forget to give us homework. I'm really glad Mrs. Croker decided to stay with us. She's great. I'd rather be caught in a feeding frenzy than see that ghost again. You can say that again. I'd rather be caught in a feeding frenzy than see that ghost again. Freddy, Luther, the school will owe you two a huge debt when you find that ghost. A huge debt? Great. We'll take cash, check, or money order. Luther! Oh! You! G H G A M
just never know when a pair of plastic coated safety scissors will come in handy. <laughs> is definitely not going to work. Oh, 
You mean me. Sure, well, why not? Something that I built myself. It's a fusion power, super elastic, repeating slingshot, complete with bullseye seeking, super sneaky turbo rocks, and racing stripes. Would you uh, just hold on to this for me, Freddy? Sure thing, Luther. how it'd feel to get your head caught in a pipe and now I know it feels bad Tucker will help you as soon as we can look there's another purple sea urchin we can add to our collection that statue is holding the trident just what we need for our trap. Hey, this statue is really attached to that trident, isn't it? It's not that, Luther. The trident is being blocked by the ceiling. This style is blocked. This one won't. our trap.
Aren't you kids supposed to be in school today? You see, we're trying to get the things. The things to build a trap to get the ghost, you know? The one that's uh, haunting the schoolhouse. Sorry I asked. Barnacle Bob, we're here to buy a pullet. A pullet? Forgive me for looking a wee bit stricken, but you said you needed a small female chicken? Luther, I think you meant to say pulley, not pullet. Oops, silly me. This pulley's for sale, and she's mighty nice. Five sea urchins, that's my asking price. Tina Tuna held her breath above water for 30 minutes. King Crab donated his pearls to build this Hall of Fame. Hector Tetra invented the Kelp Calculator. You that bottle looks awfully familiar. <laughs> It looks like the first show is about to start. No, not really. Why doesn't an octopus jog? Why? It has to tie four pairs of shoes. <laughs> it's a list that shows what we need to build our trap. We'll still need to get a wheel for the baby buggy, a cork, a rope, and a pulley before we can trap the ghost. Look, 
Luther, a purple sea urchin. Here, Luther. Why don't you try your slingshot? Great idea. I've been waiting for a chance to test it. Got it. Good work, Luther. Looks like a fun game. Don't let him ring the bell. All right. Hey. What? Light when we're out with our girly. Hey, nanny, nanny, and a hot cha cha. Hey, nanny, nanny, and a hot cha cha. May we have that rope for our trap, Captain Schnitzel? Yeah, you can take it if you can untie it. Even I have never been able to untie that verschluckene knot. <laughs> and the rope. Good work! Yay! Now we have the rope we need for our trap. We need three more things to make our ghost trap. Hey, Freddy! It looks like we struck oil! Non-toxic biodegradable oil, to be exact. So how do you like it? I call it the wet look. Just toss the oil over here. Ugh. Look, good in the captain! Full speed ahead! Whoa! 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 Luther, are you okay? I'll be okay. Just feeling a little buggy right now. Luther, I think you hit on something. Yes, unfortunately it was something very hard. No. That wheel will be perfect for a trap. Luther, we'll need to find a way to loosen this bolt so we can get the wheel. Try this, Luther. Whoa! We did it! 
two more things and we'll have everything we need to... the most. You wake up in the morning with soggy toast and the frying pan never really gets that hot. I can't keep the lid on my cooking pot. Bob. Tain thanks that I needn't or even expecting. Just keep up your interest in pulley collecting. There's only one more thing we need to build our trap. <coughs> yes, Gwen Father. We know you never had a toy in your whole life, but... But we can't get you any until the kids are out of the classroom. Well, the kids haven't left yet because of that Freddy fish. Yes, Squid Father. No more excuses. We'll do what we gotta do. Yeah, uh, boss. Uh, just what do we gotta do, huh? We gotta get rid of those kids! on Tucker Turtle. A drop of oil might do the trick. Thanks to you, kids! Would fit 
great where that cork is. I don't know, Freddy. It looks kind of small. Jumping jellyfish. It worked. I told you it would fit. Let's go catch that boat. We're ready to make our trap, Luther. That's just about everything. Luther, can we use your toy as bait? Well, okay. Our trap is complete. Someone's coming. Hey, boss. Look. A toy. Let's grab it. Now, Luther. might have a point there, boys. Okay, you can give back the toys. The squid father doesn't need the toys as much as the copies. Here, give this to the squid father. He should have at least one toy. Come on, Luther. Let's take these toys back to the guppies. Look what we you found. found the guppies. Mrs. Croker! There wasn't really a ghost haunting the school. It was just those sharks pretending to be a ghost. Congratulations! You saved the school! Thank you. 
Are you enjoying the flight on Pelican Sam Airlines, Freddy? A lot, Sam. Gosh, Luther, it was really great of your Uncle Blenny to invite us to the Founders Day Festival. Well, Uncle Blenny says that I'm his favorite nephew. And you know I'd never take a special trip like this without my best friend, Freddy Fitz. <laughs> You just never know when a drain plug might come in handy. Luther! Freddy! Over here! Uncle Blenny? Uncle Blenny, what are you doing in jail? Well, Luther, the great conch shell was stolen. The Founders Day Festival can't start without it. Since I'm the grand exalted keeper of the conch, I'm the prime suspect. But I didn't do it. Here, here's a diagram of the conch shell before it was taken. The priceless conch had three golden pipes, but they may have fallen out. And here's a picture of all the people who were nearby when the crime happened. There's Gil Barker, Claw, Nadine the Narwhal, Rosie Pearl, Pierre the Tailor, and Horse Fetters the Tourist. Can't your dogfish sniff out the thief? Old Soggy Sniffer ain't what it used to be. But if he can get the three golden pipes, he can pick up the scent. We'll find the three golden pipes, Uncle Blenny. You're my only hope, nephew. You and your friend, Freddy Fish. But are you a tailor? Pierre. I am Pierre the tailor. When Pierre mends things up better than new. So if something was torn into a million billion teensy little pieces, could you mend it together? The shark, with my eyes closed, floating on my head, and with both fins tied behind my back. Right up, guild and buoys for the most amazing carnival under the sea. You remember the terrific tumble to ride last year? Well, what we've got in store for you this year is even better. <gasps> you say you want world peace. You say you want thin thighs and bulging pectoral fins. Well, you won't get that here, but for only four purple sea urchins, what you will get is a chance to prove your skill and have a thrill. 
Apple and win a pen. And my Goroko Funhouse Mirror, just like this one. Only one mirror per customer. Void were prohibited by law. See me, Gil Barker, for details. Wow, it's a grandma grouper fortune teller machine. I've heard about these. Things always work out for the best. Wow, that's really deep. <laughs> Brought a carnival organ in for the Founders Day Festival. I love music. I can't even see my own fin in front of my face. Freddy? Freddy, where are you? I'm right here, Luther. I knew that. A plastic shovel. We could use it to dig a hole all the way to the other side of the world. Whatever you say, Lothar. Who do you think stole the Great Conch Shell? I can't believe that anyone would take the Great Conch Shell. It is just too important. But if you really must know, Rosie Pearl looks awfully suspicious. Look, Freddy! It's a purple sea urchin! Got it! Mm. These kelp vines are too thick for us to get past. Ah. That tastes horrible! We can find someone who likes to eat this type of kelp, then we can get through this doorway. Look, Luther! The doorway's clear! Swell! Freddy, it's the terrific tumble tubes! I won't fit in these tubes, Luther, but you can go. I think this makes you go through the tubes twice. Can you guess what it is? Uh... It's a purple sea urchin! Good work, Luther! Hi! My name is Luther, and this is my best friend, Freddy Fish! I am horse feathers, I am. The simply delicious meatballs were. I predict that phrase book is going to make this a very interesting trip for our friends. Hmm. Look, Freddy, it's a snowboopy pop. No, it's not. It's a purple sea urchin. I knew that. I just like to say, Snaboopy Pop. 
Look, Granny, a golden pie. But it looks like it's locked up tighter than a... Uh, tighter than something that's locked up tight, Luther? Uh, yeah. We'll just need to find a way to unlock it. Excuse me, but I was wondering if we could borrow that flashlight to find the golden pipes. If it's in the clubhouse, it must be the clubhouse flashlight. And maybe you didn't notice, but this is the Bullies Club, and I just happen to be... The President! It's a drain plug. It's a plastic shovel. be too high for us to jump. Maybe I could move the pipe with telekinesis, the raw power of my mind. <laughs> Ouch! What's the matter? I think I sprained my brain. Guess we'll just have to find another way to get that golden pipe down from that banana tree. Are you okay? I'd be better if my boat hadn't sprung a leak. I had to strike my sail and use it to plug the hole. Without a sail to catch the wind, I'm stuck out here. <sighs> that island has beautiful looking banana trees. I wish I could get over there. Hmm. Perhaps we have something to stuff in the hole so you could hoist your sail. That would be stupendous. Then I could get moving again. My poor leaking boat. Don't worry, Magenta. We'll have your problem solved in a snap. Okay, Luther. Let her rip. Good news! The hole's plugged! Uh, the bad news is I ripped your sail badly. No, it looks like you ripped it quite well. Don't worry, Magenta. We'll get your sail fixed. We promise. Dig out this old hollow log and pull it into the water. Okie dokie.
Come on, Luther. Help me push this log. Well, I'm not pushy by nature, but in this case, I'll make an exception. Oh. We're really making headway. Keep pushing. Oh. Can't stop pushing. Must keep moving forward. Oh. I just had a brainstorm. This old hollow log might help us get through the waterfall. You should try having brainstorms on a more regular basis. Look, a purple sea urchin. Freddy, how come there are no pink polka dotted sea urchins? But there are. They live in the secret sea where everything is pink and polka dotted. Enjoy the show. to love them.
Bebop Skidoo. <coughs> Get yeah, well. Freddy and Luther have now. I sure hope you're right. Oh. Sale for us? Oui, oui. Now observe, mere mortals, as the great Pierre creates from the tattered drag the nautical fashion statement. Voila! C'est fini! Fini! Well, he said to say it. Cheese! Any 
even better, I'm moving! <laughs> oh, it's a lovely island and such beautiful banana trees. Thanks for your help. Ginger, could you climb this banana tree and toss us that golden pipe? It's a pleasure. Thanks a lot, Magenta. All we need is one more golden pipe and old Soggy can sniff out the thief. Is it true that we're not going to have a festival? Is it, Mommy? Gee, I hope they can find that conch show so we can have a festival. I've waited all year. The purple sea urchin. That's just one purple sea urchin. I need three more before you guys get through the door. Another purple sea urchin for you. Purple sea urchin number two, but that ain't gonna do. Two purple sea urchins more bring the total to four. Here's another purple sea urchin. That's three purple sea urchins, and I'm one away from having enough to let you play. Here's our last purple sea urchin. Four purple sea urchins, precisely the price of admission. And fortunately for you, too, we're having a special. For every little yellow fish that pays admission, a little green fish gets in absolutely free. Boy, did I ever hit this on the right day. <laughs> Flip the critters up the wall. When enough of the same critters touch each other, they'll go away. If you use all the critters in the tube, you'll advance to a new level. But watch out. When the critters move above the bar, they won't go away.
in appreciation of your prodigious prowess, the world famous Floating Fun is proud to present you with this... A Fantabulous Funhouse Mirror Replica! There is no time for that now, Luther. Thanks, Gil. of the Bullies Club. I command you to leave. Freddy, I know we need his flashlight to get Uncle Blenny out of jail, but this guy is too mean to mess with. Hey, Luther, I have a plan. Light as long as you want. can pick up the bad guy's scent. Here you go, boy. Come on, Luther. We've got a bad guy to catch. can put the jewel back and we can catch that thief. <laughs> Old Soggy, you go on ahead and track that shell thief. We'll meet you back at the center of town as soon as we can. Hey, 
I'll bet that's the key I need to get Luca out. I... Nothing in this place is as easy as it looks. It might come in handy. A chisel could loosen that crystal. This might set off another trap. But I've got to try everything to get Luther out. This beautiful red crystal sure gives off a lot of light. That could come in very handy indeed. Hey, the crystal grew back. Let's put that jewel back. 
Look, Luther, the thief must have dropped this bag. <gasps> Looks like we can solve this case. Come on. No concho means no festival. And I just polished my tooth. Oh, the colossal irony of it all. Pshaw, if Pierre was in charge, this would never have happened. It's all Uncle Blenny's fault. I'm gonna give that bum a piece of my mind. Stop! Uncle Blenny is innocent. <gasps> the thief dropped this bag. When we looked inside, we found thread and a sewing needle, which means the thief is... Pierre! You're the thief. Ridiculous! That could have been anybody's thread and sewing needle in that bag. You have nothing on me. Oh la la! Oh no? <laughs> All right, uh, maybe you do have something on me. I confess, the great conch is the ultimate expression of exquisitely good taste. It would have made the ultimate accessory for my latest and greatest fashion creation. The great conch isn't just an ornament. It's an important part of life under the sea. Also, being great at something you do doesn't give you the right to do bad things. And no matter how you look at it, stealing is bad. I feel smaller than the krill. I'm sorry, Needlefish. I return to you, the great conch. Uncle Blenny, we're sorry we blamed you. That's okay. I'm still the grand exalted keeper of the conch. Thanks to Freddy and Luther. Oh, and old Chubby. Gosh, what can I ever do to thank you? Just do your duty, old grand exalted keeper of the conch. Pierre was convicted of breaking Penal Code 919 for only thinking of himself. As punishment, Pierre was sentenced to 4,284 hours of public service, sewing hand puppets for underprivileged humpback whales. Case closed.
get ready? Almost. Sure is nice of your cousin Calico to teach us all about raising hogfish. She'll be glad for the help. It's hard to run a big ranch all by yourself. Will we get to wear ten-gallon hats? I think a five-gallon hat is more your size. Come on, let's go. I'm at least seven gallons, Freddy. Six and a half minimum. Hello, Freddy. Howdy, Luther. We're ready to help out. Which way to the hogfish? Well, it seems we got a little problem there. See, my prize-winning hogfish herd has been rustled. Rustled? What does that mean? Somebody came and took them without asking. That's not right. No, it's not. And a hogfish requires proper care. I think they might be in real trouble. I just don't know what to do. Did you call the police? I think the sheriff's gone out of town. And I need to stay here at the ranch in case the hogfish get away and come home. Not to mention all the worrying I have to do. We'll help you, Cousin Calico. Luther and I will find the hogfish and catch those rustlers. Yeah! Thank you both. You'll be doing me a real good turn. Purple sea urchin! We're rich! Here we are in Briny Gulch. This must be the town square! Let's go ask some of the people who live here if they know anything about those rustlers. Customers! <clears throat> Hello, and welcome to Just Buckles. I'm Nelson Tolso. How can I help you today? I'm Freddy, and this is Luther. And we're helping my cousin, Calico Catfish. Rustlers took all of her hogfish. <gasps> Rustlers? Well, I wouldn't know anything about that. What are these plans? Oh, those are the blueprints for the custom belt buckles I make. They feature a stylish arching metal back with a personalized letter on the front. Any letter the customer wants. I'll bet they look nice. Oh, they're very popular. Did you see this picture? It's my son, Half Nelson. He was real cute as a baby, don't you think? He has your forearms. Road closed due to construction. Back short. I'm Perry. <gasps> er, uh, apricot. Some rustlers took my cousin's hogfish. Have you seen or heard anything suspicious? Rustlers? Well, I'll be stuffed in a jar full of dirt and swung round and round. 
Howdy, youngsters. I'm Saltwater Stella, owner and operator of the Soda Loon. What can I do for you? We uh, wanted to ask you if you've seen any rustlers around here lately. Rustlers? Well, there were a couple of suspicious characters in here yesterday. They might have been rustlers. They sat at that table right over there. Oh, boy. Maybe they left a clue. Thank you. Look, Freddy. Maybe this is a clue. Meet at the Rusty Rustler at high tide. Memorize the combination and then eat this note. Three, zero, seven. I'll bet the Rustlers left this. I wonder why they didn't eat the note like it says. It probably tastes like Pete. We'll hang on to it. That combination must be important. Hello! Hey, Fingered Phil! Dr. Uh, piano Ology, at your service. Stella at the counter said she saw some suspicious-looking types in here yesterday. Did you see anything? We think they might have been rustlers. Rustlers? No, I wouldn't know a thing about that. I know the piano, and it knows me, but that's about it. Sorry. I can't help you out. That's okay. Thanks, anyway. Yeah. Hi. It's me. Listen. I want to talk to you about that note. at high tide. Memorize the combination and then eat this note. Three, zero, seven. This shouldn't be too hard. We just have to punch in the combination. One, two, three, nine, eight, seven, I guess the lock was the only thing holding the door on. Tom Farnett, what's that racket? Someone's coming! Hurry! Aw, oh, fiddlesticks! The door came off again. Well, I guess I'll just have to sit here and stand going. I wonder if they still called it standing guard if you're sitting down. That must be one of the rustlers. I hear the hogfish in there. Let's go, Luther. Hey, Freddy, can we eat this note now like it says? Well, I guess we won't need the combination anymore. Well? I can see why the rustlers didn't eat it. It tasted like paper. It's rustlers only in the hideout. Oops, I didn't think I was supposed to say it was a hideout. We might be rustlers. How do you know we're not rustlers? That's easy. You're not dressed like rustlers. If you were a wrestler, you'd have a 10-gallon hat like mine, a belt buckle like mine, and a fashionable bow tie. All wrestlers dress exactly alike? 
Yep, we all wear the latest Rustler gear. You can see from this picture in Rustlemania magazine. Hmm, a purple 10 gallon hat, a big old belt buckle with a K on it, and a bow tie. Since you're not wearing these things, you must not be rustlers, so you can't come in. Cause this hideout is for rustlers only. Okay, thank you. This is the rustler hideout, all right. I'm sure the hogfish are inside. What are we going to do? We've got to get some new clothes. Hogfish, quiet down or else, or else I'm calling Mr. Big. Did you hear something? It was probably just the current. I guess. I guess whoever was working here is done now. That's a nice screwdriver you have there. Thanks! Do you think we could borrow it for a while? No, we might need it to work on this dance floor. Maybe later when it's finished. You two look like you've got trouble. <laughs> you could say that again. We made this floor for the big square dance tomorrow. Only we found out it has to be, well, square. And we are out of wood. We need some more to start over. A piece about seven feet by seven feet ought to do it. My name's Freddy Fish, and this is my best pal, Luther. Howdy, kids. Folks call me Sahara Slim. Professional traveling man and blues musician. Musician? Do you play an instrument? Harmonica. Oh boy! I see another purple sea urchin! This should be useful. Oh boy! I hope those edges are sanded. Wow! You're bigger than, well, just about everybody, I guess. You should see my brother. I'm Freddy, and this is Luther. Well, it's real nice to meet you both. My name is Fluke. Boy, Fluke, you're so big, I bet you can swallow the whole town. <laughs> I doubt it, but I can fit a lot of folks in my mouth. That's how come I'm the cabaret. Cabaret? We put on plays, shows and things right inside my mouth. In your mouth? That sounds interesting. Could we take a look? Well, the cabaret's closed right now, but sure, take a look. This is neat. Hey, look! It's a 10-gallon hat! Oh, boy! It's stuck in there pretty good! Yeah! missing from this crank. Um, 
keep them on ice until I get back. Stop. Sign it, you know who. And deliver it right away, it's urgent. Yes, sir. Oh. <clears throat> oh, hi, kids. Hello. Hello. Are you the mailman? No, I'm Freddy Fish. Go away. I'm waiting for an important package. Oh, no. It's missing a handle on the lid. That's why... Are you e tippet That's what it says on the mailbox, doesn't it? Now leave me be. I'm waiting for an important package. Oh no! It's missing a handle on the lid. That's why the lid won't shut. Look at that poor guy spinning on the propeller. Whoa, Nelly! Whoa! Luther, what's round and purple and pokey? Hey, is it on me? No, silly. It's a purple sea urchin over there. Oh. I wasn't afraid. Whoa! Oh, Sonic! Make up your mind! I think I heard something. Get you off of there. I'd be much obliged. Phew! I think I heard something. breaking a foot somewhere. I can smell it. But... You there! No loitering! <clears throat> uh, Freddy! What? Oh! I'm sorry, Luther. <laughs> wow! That's amazing! I was in Fish Scouts, too. This could come in handy. Hi, I'm Freddy Fish, and this is my best buddy, Luther. Hello, I'm you. That's silly. You're not Freddy. No. You, like the letter U. Just you? Is it short for something? Yes, it's short for Uriah, Jedediah, Euripides, Algernon, Fortescue, Forsyth, um, um, oh, now what was the rest of it? Um, we'll just call you you. Most folks do. Is this your seahorse? Yep, his name's Elmer. Hi, Elmer. <laughs> it looks 
like the wheel on this wagon has fallen off. Maybe we can fix it. <laughs> the wheel looks like it just needs a new nut to hold it onto the wagon. Are you ready to start? Here's a fun game. Pop the bubbles before they run into you. wood for your floor? Say, that looks about right. Perfect. Thanks a lot. We owe you one. You're welcome. Are you thinking what I'm thinking? Coffee break? Exactly. Now that your floor is finished, do you think we can borrow your screwdriver for a while? Sure. In fact, you can keep it. Consider it payment for a job well done. Gee, thanks. purple sea urchins. Good evening, ma'am, sir. Allow me to introduce myself. My name is Gil Barker, and I represent the Biloxi Premium Gum and Wheel Nut Company, third largest distributor of bubble gum and wheel nuts in the Upper Western Hemisphere. I'm Freddie Fish, and this is my pal Luther. My employers have authorized me to clear out my inventory to make room for next year's models. Everything must go. Therefore, I, Gil Barker, will be offering you prices so outrageously low that you'll have to bend over to see them. Those are pickle fit locking wheel nuts. The finest wheel nuts ever made. They come in a variety of shapes, guaranteed to fit any wheel made after 1986. And if it doesn't fit, you can take advantage of our liberal exchange policy. Pickle fit nuts are all currently available at one low price. Just three purple sea urchins per nut. We'd like to buy one of your wheel nuts, please. Certainly! Now, the nuts cost three purple sea urchins, so I'll start you on one of our nut layaway plans, and you can have your nut when you paid me the other two purple sea urchins. And may I say that a fickle fit wheel nut is really an excellent investment. Yes. Here's a purple sea urchin for you. Thank you very much, young lady. Which of my two fine products are you interested in today? The delicious bubblegum or the very useful wheel nuts? Here's another purple sea urchin towards our wheel nut. Very good. Let's see. 
That leaves only one more purple sea urchin before the fabulous pickle pit wheel nut is all yours. Here's the last purple sea urchin for our wheel nut. Can we have it now? Of course! You can select any shape you like. And this one looks good. Thank you. No, thank you. Let's buy another wheel nut. I don't think we need one. Good evening, sir. May I interest you in... You got the 20 clams you owe me, Gil? Uh, not exactly. How much is not exactly? I've got a few purple sea urchins. You know, my dogfish needs an operation. Don't worry. I've got a really big deal uh, about to go down. Yeah? What is it? All I can say is, it's really big. I'll have your clams in a couple of days. Well, okay. Whatever you got going, I hope it's good. Oh, it is. It's real good. <sighs> Barker, you owe Shady Shark 20 clams. Pay up pronto. What's this? Oh, that's, uh, that's nothing. It's a poem I was writing. That's an awfully strange poem. It 
it'll stay on there, right? We don't have to use any glue or anything. Careful there. Don't ever mention G-L-U-E around old Elmer. Spoops him something awful. What's he got against glue? box door now that you're not using it anymore? Sure. Take it and leave me to Hermit in peace. Thank you. your mouth some more? Sure! I wouldn't want to hurt her. We need some dental floss or something like that. Luther, you are. Oh, that's better. <laughs> hey, look! This place is filled with water now! Lemongrass. Is that anything like lemonade? It's a little more sour than lemonade is. Boy, you're not kidding. I kind of like it though. I really like those hats! 
10-gallon hat, a big old belt buckle with a K on it, and a bow tie. We don't have any of those things. We'd better get cracking. Look at this cute spice container. This could come in handy. what we could use to get those screws out. smaller hat. They make smaller ones? Sure. I'd only get it caught in my teeth again anyway. Thank you. Thanks for getting it out. You're welcome. It's a picture of a hogfish rustler. We 
We'd like to buy your pack of bubble gum, please. Excellent, excellent. Super Rubber Bubble is the most durable gum on the market. You won't be disappointed. Now, the gum is two purple sea urchins. So you can give me the second one right away. Or, if you like, I can start a gum layaway plan for you. And I'll give you the gum when you pay me the balance. That's fair. Here's the other purple sea urchin for the pack of gum. Splendid, splendid. Here you go. It's my last pack. Maybe even the last pack in the entire hemisphere. You made a wise purchase. Thank you. No refunds. was you, Luther. Oh, yeah. Would you like this harmonica? Would I? Oh boy! Oh, this is great! Oh, here, have this lovely bow tie in exchange. With my compliments. Thanks. Thank you so much. Now, I can play the blues again. Gobi, I'm at my wit's end. These hogfish are driving me crazy. They won't eat or sleep. And they're so noisy. Where'd they get the accordion? Uh, I don't know. Did you try telling them that story about your trip to Akron? That always puts me to sleep. Oh, thanks a lot. I'm going to have to call Mr. Big again. Here, can you make 
make us a belt buckle out of it. <gasps> sure, just bring me a letter to put on it and I'll get to work. It's a K. Here, this is for the belt buckle. <gasps> okay, stand back. Call me Nelson. All I ever wanted was to be a hogfish rancher. I had no idea it would be so much work. Maybe there are some tricks to it that we don't know about. Yeah, but I'm going back in. Don't let any non-rustlers inside, okay? Radio! That's part of my disguise. I don't need to wear it until I try to get into the rustler's hideout. It's gum! Would any of you like a piece of gum? What flavor you got? The label says it's licorice flavor. Ew! I, I can't abide licorice. Offering will pass. Look like you're offering. Sure. It's just not right. of my disguise. I don't need to wear it until I try to get into the wrestler's hideout. Do I look like a rustler? Oh! Yes! This should make my disguise even better. It does! There! Those rustlers won't be able to tell me apart from the real thing. It's a great outfit! Luther, you stay here while I try to get past the guard. Wait, I'm coming with you. Good thinking, Luther. Let's try and get past the guard. Hold it! This is a... Well, howdy, fellow wrestler. And howdy. I reckon Mr. Big must have sent you to help us out with the hogfish, right? Um... Poor Maury, he's having a terrible time with the hogfish. Well, go on in. He'll be glad to see you. Thank you. We did it! Shh! We 
We did it! We're inside! Which way do you think the hogfish are? Well, I think I hear squealing coming from... Hey! You two aren't rustlers! What are you doing here? Um, we were just leaving. You're not going anywhere! Mr. Big will know what to do with you! Nobody knows the trouble I've seen! What do we do now? It didn't even budge. Nope, this door is definitely locked. Hey! It looks like there might be a way out under all these cannonballs! These are heavy! There! That does it! That door is still locked. You're right, Luther. There's got to be some other way out of this room. Like you and I can. I guess we'll have to work out another way to get those hogfish out. They'll need a bigger opening. I think I see something behind this thing. You're right. I can't see it very well. The rudder's in the way. I think we have to move this rudder if we're going to get that thing out of there. Did you hear something? Like a creaking noise? I think it came from out there. Look at this neat hook! Do you think maybe it belonged to a pirate? I don't know. But I bet it will come in handy. Here, why don't you hang on to it? Okay. Hello? 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 That anchor looks really heavy. I'll bet that weighs six. Huh? What does that mean? That means it's really heavy. Oh. There! What are we gonna do with that? You'll see. Free those hogfish. Luther, prepare to drop anchor. Ready, Freddy! Fire away! What? No! Come back! Please come back! 
We're going home. The food's terrible here. Oh, what do we do now, Maury? <laughs> I think you should give yourselves up. You're under arrest in the name of the law. Law? What law? Yeah, I don't see any law. Then I suggest you turn around real slow like. It's Sheriff Shrimp. Yeah, and just about everybody in town, it looks like. Youngsters, that was mighty fine work apprehending these two. I'll be taking them off to jail now. You boys ought to be ashamed of yourselves. Hold on, Sheriff. There's one more person involved with the rustling. Yeah, that's right. They kept talking to somebody called Mr. Big. We never saw his face. He was in charge. He planned the rustling and everything. Is that so? Well, what if it is? We'll never reveal the identity of Mr. Big. Yeah, you'll never catch him. Actually, I know who Mr. Big is. He's right here in the room. <gasps> when the rustlers caught Luther and me, they called Mr. Big to come and decide what to do with us. I suspect he was already here when you all arrived and just slipped in with the posse. Well, which one is it then? I suspect Mr. Fingers. Whoa, no way, baby. I don't know rustling, just piano playing. After we found the note to the rustler saying to meet here, we heard you call them to talk about it. Note? The only call I made about a note was about a musical note. A musical note? Well, yeah, see, I got a bet going with old Seven Finger Charlie from the Plankton Hut about this one particular note in a ragtime tune. He thinks it's a B-flat, but really, it's an A-flat. Big difference. Mr. Big must be Sahara Slim. I assure you, I'm not your perpetrator. We saw you sending a telegram. You said, keep them on ice. Yep. That was about some suspects in another case. You see, I'm here undercover. I'm actually Sahara Slim under Sea Marshal. <laughs> I sure didn't expect that. I'm here investigating possible violations of the undersea coffee break statutes. <laughs> I guess you're probably not a rustler then. That was smart to notice the telegram, but he's not Mr. Big. So who is? Who's Mr. Big? I'll bet it's Nelson Torso. No, oh, uh, but, uh, but, um... Business hasn't been very good at just buckles lately, has it? Well, no, but... And I noticed that you were building a barbell at your shop. Big enough for hogfish, maybe? No. You see, everyone thinks I keep in such great shape at my shop. I'm starting to get a little flabby. So, the barbell... It's for me, yes! <gasps> but I'm not a rustler! No, he isn't. It's not Nelson? That was a good guess, but no, it's not him. Then which one of us is it? Is it Cousin Calico? She could have arranged to wrestle her own hogfish. Why would she want to do that? Um, for insurance money? I haven't got any wrestling insurance. Oh. Who is Mr. Big? Mr. Barker. You've been in some financial trouble lately, haven't you? What makes you say that? Luther and I overheard you talking to a loan shark about it. Ah, uh, <laughs> aha! <laughs> we also read your IOU, even though you tried to tell us it was a poem. You rustled the hogfish to pay off your debts, didn't you? Yeah, I'm afraid I did. <laughs> What was it that first tipped you off? It was the gum. You had an awfully small supply for a gum salesman. And I got to wondering what had happened to the rest of it. The hogfish were still chewing it when we got here. 
Yes, yeah, Super Rubber Bubble lasts a long time. It's a fabulous product, which is why I borrowed money to invest in it. But the sales weren't so good, and I was going to have to declare bankruptcy. I figured even if I couldn't sell the hogfish, I could at least get into hogfish ranching, which, as you know, is a much more respectable profession than sales. Well, that's no excuse. You all ought to be ashamed. You just shouldn't take things that don't belong to you. It hurts other people, and it's just plain wrong. You're right. We're sorry. We didn't want to be rustlers. All we ever really wanted was to be hogfish ranchers. But we don't know how. Ranchers, you say? You know, I do still need some help out of my place. I'm glad this worked out so well for everyone. Freddy, Luther, I can't thank you enough for all you've done here. The hogfish are home safe. And the rustlers is brought to justice. Yeehaw! How's their immunity service working out? That's community service, son. Oh, yeah. How's that going? I think they're coming along quite well. It's hard work, but when I'm done with them, they'll be real hogfish ranchers. Can we learn to be hogfish ranchers, too? Of course. Here, I've got something for you. Ten gallon hats! Yours is a five gallon, so it'll fit just right. Oh, boy! Now, come on, you two. Show you how to tie a lasso. Oh, give me a home where the buffalo roam, where the deer and the antelope play. Oh, Stewball was a racehorse, wish she was mine.
the buffalo roam, where the deer and the antelope play. Here we are! Let's tell Grandma Grouper where we're going today. Well, hello there, Freddy and Luther. Hi, Grandma! Hi, Grandma Grouper. I'm afraid we don't have much time to visit with you today. We're on our way to Coral Cove Park. You have fun! And be safe! Thanks, Grandma. Goodbye. Wait for me, Freddy! That's the way to Coral Cove Park. Some sea monster keep us out of Coral Cove Park, are we? I say we drive the monster out! That's what I say. Drive the monster out! <clears throat> Excuse me, I'm Freddy Fish, and this is my pal Luther. What's going on here? I'm Marty Sardini. I developed Coral Cove Park into a beautiful attraction. But Mayor Marlin has closed it due to sea monster sightings. And we're not gonna let some sea monster spoil our fun, right? Right! <laughs> Wait a minute. Has anyone seen this monster? I have, and it scared the dickens out of me. It scared me too. Something seems fishy here. But Freddy, we are fish. No, Luther. I mean something doesn't seem right about all this. An angry mob is no way to solve this. Luther and I will figure out what the sea monster wants. Just give us some time. She's making sense, Marty. Let's give the kids a chance. Hmm. All right. You've got till the end of the day. Then we drive the sea monster out of the park. Deal. Gee, I don't know, Freddy. A sea monster sounds scary. Don't worry, Luther. I'm sure there is a logical explanation for why this sea monster is scaring everyone. The first thing we need to do is get into Coral Cove Park to look for clues. <laughs> Whoa! Where do you think you're going? We're going to investigate Coral Cove Park. No one may enter the park, folks. Mayor Marlin's orders. What if we're here to help? Is there any way to get in? Your only option is to get this permission slip signed by Mayor Marlin. We're on it! <laughs> Thank you. 
It's a barber pole. That door's locked. What are you playing? Jugs. You're good. Not as good as I should be. I'm still one jug short. And this glass bottle is no substitute. I wouldn't need this bottle at all if I had another jug. You're good. Not as good as I should be. Hi, I'm Freddy Fish, and this is my friend Luther. Hi there, my name's Kippo. It's a taffy-making machine. Yum! was the tastiest taffy, too. I'd love to try to win something from the claw machine. It only costs one purple sea urchin to play. Hello there, I'm Earl, the map specialist. Nice to meet you, Earl. I'm Freddy, and this is my pal Luther. You must be straining your eyes. I lost my glasses in the tide pools out there by those mud skippers. How can you see your maps? I've made do with this microscope lens. That's terrible. If you find my glasses, I'll be able to read maps again. We'll help you find your glasses. Thanks. You look like Gil Barker. That's because we're twins! My name's Gillian. I'm Freddy, and this is my friend Luther. Pleased to meet you. Likewise! How much does the glue cost? For you, one purple sea urchin. That's quite a bargain for ultra-fantastic elastic glue. Hi there! Freddy, and this is Luther. We'd like to talk with the mayor if possible. I'm Clyde. The mayor's all yours as soon as I'm done with his makeover. It's just that I'm missing my number nine fin pick. Where could it be? It must be back in my barber shop. I'm so absent-minded these days. I'll go look for it. We'll go look for it. If you'd like. What dears? Quick as a bunny, just run over to my barber shop. The fin pick should be right there. Hang these keys up on the hook inside the barber shop when you found the fin pick. Okay. Phew. Hello? Is there anybody here? It's Freddy Fish and Luther. Hey, Daddy-O, I'm Nick. I'm back here trying to fix this sign. Daddy-O? Is he talking to us? Sure I am. It's all cool. Except that the bolt I need to hold this sign up fell into a clam's mouth. And now I'm trapped here. Maybe we 
can get the bolt out of the clam's mouth and help you fix the sign. It'd be real hip if you could get a wrench, too. You'll need that bolt and a wrench to fix the sign. Hey, Freddy, that reminds me of a riddle. What do you call a styrofoam fish who can perform operations? I don't know. A plastic sturgeon? Ha <laughs> ha! Uh, did you see that? You made the clam laugh, Luther. Maybe we can get the bolt back while the clam opens up to laugh. Whatever you can do to help me out of this heinous situation would be appreciated. We're happy to help. Yeah. We have to tell the clam another kind of joke to make it laugh hard enough to get that bolt out. Yeah. Excuse me, I'm Freddy Fish, and this is my friend Luther. Hi. Well, hello. My name's Kit Craftsman. What do you use this for? The wrench? I'll use that to take this big ship apart. I can't find a bottle big enough to fit the thing. That must be hard for you. It's a heartbreaker. If only I had a big enough bottle for the ship, then I wouldn't need the wrench. Maybe we can find one for you. That'd be fantastic. Mr. Rollo, I'm Freddy Fish, and this is my pal Luther. Pleasure meeting you both. How about a riddle? What song did they play when the cookie got married? I don't know. Here crumbs the bride. Ha, <laughs> <laughs> good one! Hey, I've got a lot more riddles where that came from. Excuse me, I'm Freddy Fish, and this is my best friend, Luther. Who are you? My name is Al B. Cor. I am in the business of card trading. Pleased to meet you, Al B. Cor. You must really like trading cards. Oh, I do. It is what I live for. You've got a lot of trading cards here. Yes. And I have got a don't touch policy. Unless you want to make a card trade, that is. Okay, I understand. Just let me know which card you are interested in. And when you have a card to trade, we can make a trade. I see. It's a purple sea urchin. Good eye, Freddy. Look, it's a trading card. Hey! That's my roof! <laughs> Your roof is made out of a trading card? Until I get one like this top-of-the-line cone-shaped roof, yes, that's my roof! Oops. Oh, we'll put it back. Maybe we can help you find an orange cone-shaped roof. Then I wouldn't need this hokey trading card roof. My home is my castle, and a little privacy is all I ask for. Hi, Casey. Hi, Freddy. Hi, Luther. What's going on? Same old, same old. I'm analyzing food samples, but unfortunately my microscope is missing its lens. That must make things difficult. Darn near impossible. Maybe we can find you a microscope lens. That'd be great. Then I could continue analyzing these food samples. 
Hi, I'm Freddy Fish, and this is my best friend Luther. The name's Marge. Marge the Sarge. That drill book looks interesting. It sure is. I use the drills in here to whip these tetras into shape. What do you mean? I lost my medal, so the tetras had some trouble respecting my authority. Having that book gives me some clout. So if we got your medal back, would you need the drill book anymore? Uh, nope, you could have the drill book if I had my medal. Hey, it's Mess Hall Mania. I love this game. How do you play it? Well, it's really easy. We both have some schools of fish. I hide your fish, and you hide mine. Then we take turns and try to find the hidden fish and feed them. Whoever feeds all of their fish first wins. Okay, I need to hide the schools of fish. That's right, Freddy. You can rotate them too to make it harder. Just press the play button after you've hidden all of the fish. I need to hide Luther's fish so he can't find them. really good at this game, so why don't you go first? If you find a fish, it will eat the food and make bubbles. Okay, Luther. Try not to eat all the worm doodles. Orange cherry. I can't believe you found that one. This is fun. I'm going to try blue banana. Way to go. Right on. I want... Orange banana. You fed a hungry one. All right. There's just got to be one at Blue Apple. Perfect. You got one. I'm a pro. Orange strawberry. Oh, man, you got one. Purple banana. That's a miss. Green cherry. Whew, that's a miss. Green banana. Nope. Hmm, green apple. Nothing but open water there. Blue cherry. You found one. Good job, Luther. You fed all of this group. I've got a good feeling about yellow banana. You got one. I just know there's one at yellow cherry. Better luck next time. I think I'm going to try red banana. Good guess! You found one! I've got you now! Purple pear! Way to go, Luther! You got one! Orange apple! Sorry, Freddy. There's nothing there. Blue pear! Yep, there's one there. Red cherry! That spot is wide open! Purple watermelon! Hmm, that's a miss! I'll try... Green banana. You found one. Purple hot dog. There's nothing there. Blue banana. You got one. Uh oh, I better hurry. How about... Green pear. Good job, Luther. Let's see. Yellow strawberry. Good guess. You found one. What about blue watermelon? Uh-uh. How about yellow cherry? You fed a hungry one. Two down, three to go. I think I'm going to try blue hot dog. Sorry, Luther. Blue grapes. I can't believe you found that one. Yeah. Green hot dog. Sorry, Luther. Not this time. 
I've got a good feeling about Blue Shoe. Oh, um, nope. That's a miss. I've got you now. Yellow Pear. Way to go. Hot sauce. Blue Toast. Oh, man, you got one. I think I'm going to try Green Watermelon. Ooh, that's a miss. I'll try... Blue Hot Dog. You found one. I'm getting the hang of this now. Orange Pear. Way to go, Luther. You got one. Uh. Two down, three to go. All right. Purple Hot Dog. Good guess. You found one. Excellent. I'm going to try Red Toast. Better luck next time. Green hot dog. Not even close. There's just got to be one at orange hot dog. Ooh, that's a miss. Let's see. Purple pear. Better luck next time. Green strawberry. There's nothing there. a hungry one. I had a feeling that was the right spot to pick. Red grapes. Nope. I think I'm going to try blue watermelon. So close, but yet so far. What about purple shoe? Perfect. You got one. I warned you that I was good at this game. Hmm. Green pear. I can't believe you found that one. You're really lucky. You fed them all. Purple grapes. You found one. Green grapes. You got one. Blue grapes. Sorry, Luther. Not this time. I want purple grapes. You found one. Purple toast. Good job, Luther. Three down. Two to go. I knew it. Yellow grapes. Oh man, you got one! Oh, you fed this whole group. I just know there's one at Yellow Watermelon. Uh-uh. Purple Toast. Good guess! You found one. Ooh, I barely beat you. Beginner's luck. Just one more game? Maybe later, Luther. Way to go! Whoa! One, please. They cost three purple sea urchins each. Unlock the door. Let's try this key. That's it! We're in, Luther! Whoopee! There! The keys are on the hook, so Clyde knows right where to find them. And I see fin picks already.
must be the fin pit Clyde needs to give the mayor his makeover. We'll soon find out. To buy some glue, please. You've come to the right place. I can offer you top of the line. Ultra fantastic elastic glue. Here you go. Thanks. This should be the right fin pit, Clyde. You're so efficient. Now can you finish the mayor's makeover? But of course. I'll only be a moment. All done. See you tomorrow, Mayor Marlin. Splendid, splendid. Mayor Marlin, we have a permission slip we'd like you to sign. It will allow us into Coral Cove Park so we can solve the mystery of this terrifying sea monster. Right. There is a sea monster terrorizing the citizens of Coral Cove, isn't there? Uh, yeah. Thanks, Mayor Marlin. Now, Officer Beverly will let us into Coral Cove Park. Good luck to you both. The citizens of Coral Cove are lucky to have you here in times like these. Whoa! Permission slip signed by Mayor Marlin himself. You don't say. Well, I'll be. Go on in, but remember what I said. That sea monster is huge. And it's evil. No fear, eh, Freddy? No fear, Luther. What's this? Yuck! It smells horrible! Look at the size of the bite taken out of it! big enough to be a sea monsters. That's just what I was thinking, Luther. The sea monster must have been eating this and dropped some. We're hot on the monster's trail now. We just need to get this sample analyzed. Another purple sea urchin. Those meddlesome kids are gonna ruin my grand plan.
Those Tetras mean business. They're too busy practicing drills to notice us. We need to find a way to steer them away from the doorway. It's a purple sea urchin. I saw that one first. Glue is great, but I need to put the pieces in the right places. That piece fit perfectly. We're getting somewhere now, Luther. Good one, Freddy. That, pi that piece fit perfectly. Good one, Freddy. That piece dropped right into place. There. All done. Just like new. Look at that mud skipper go! He seems to know exactly which puddles to jump in to get across. We should try a closer puddle. Whoa! We need to jump from puddle to puddle, just like the mud skipper did. We made it, Luther! Yeah, we're good! It's a pair of glasses! Do I look smarter, Freddy? Way smarter, Luther. Let's put them away for safekeeping. Whoa! The metal over there. I think you're right. <laughs> the metal is too far away. If only it was attracted to my magnetic personality. That's not going to do me any good. Look, Luther, a purple sea urchin. I saw that one first. Luther, look! There's an orange safety cone in there. That's just what the guy in the card house is looking for. We need to get it for him. Here's a way into the shipwreck, but this door is locked. Oof. Are you sure? Yes, we need to find another way in. Oomph! Oof! Oomph! I'm too big to fit through this hole. Let me try! Like a dream! Luther, 
You need to unlock the door so I can get in too. You got it, Freddy! The yellow cable indicator is set to the middle position. That orange safety cone is heavy. I'm going to need Freddy's help with it. Maybe moving those colors around will unlock the door in the room above. Then I can let Freddy in. I wonder if turning it this way will unlock the door. It's an orange safety cone. Just what we needed. going to do me any good. Check out this jug. It matches the rest of your set. It's like we've reunited the Jug family. Are you for real? I can keep this Jug? Hooey! Of course. Here, take this glass bottle. Thanks. going for the fake tattoos. Keep it steady. Steady. Oh, I got a glow necklace. It's kind of pretty. Wow. At least we got to play the game once before it broke. Yeah, and we got that pretty glow necklace too. I'll wear it if you don't like it. Nah, I'll hold on to it. I'm sure it'll come in handy sometime. Glasses? 
Uh, my glasses! I can see! I can see! Thank you! May we have the microscope lens? Yes! Please take that thing out of my sight! My glorious sight! Thank you! No! Thank you! Another purple sea urchin. You're still one short. Here's another purple sea urchin. Great. Good times. Here is your riddle. You can always exchange it for another joke. I'll remember that. Thanks. This is a big enough bottle. Oh, splendid. Let's give it a whirl, shall we? What a wonderful gift you've brought me. You've saved me the pain of dismantling my work. Do you still need the wrench? Take that tool of destruction out of my sight. My creation is safe in her permanent home. Thanks. We'll take good care of it. <sighs> what did the water say to the rock? I don't know. Nothing. It just waved. I guess the clam didn't like your riddle, Luther. We need to tell it a different kind of joke. <sighs> I'd like to trade my joke for another one. No big whoop. Which kind would you like in exchange? I'd like a knock-knock joke, please. Hot sauce. Here is your knock-knock joke. You can always exchange... Who's there? Pudding. Pudding who? Pudding on your pants before your underwear is a bad idea. <laughs> Good one, Luther. I got the bolt. All I need is something to tighten this bolt into place. Like a wrench? <laughs> we did it! 
You're free, Nick. I like it. I like it a lot. Now we can see what's in your store. It's cool to be back in business. You, the crustacean with the spiny back and the little hat on the ocean floor of a huge planet rotating around and around and around and around. Don't look up. You might throw up. be useful. How much is it? It's free. Consider it my gift to you for helping fix my sign. What a deal! <laughs> this is the best store ever! Right now, that's not going to do me any good. This safety cone is just like the one in your magazine. What? It's a spitting image! Structurally, your home will be much more sound with this cone, sir. You bet it will! Why don't you go ahead and take that old trading card? Thank you! Try this lens, Casey. Did the trick. I can see through my microscope again. Thanks, Freddy and Luther. It's our pleasure. Could you take a look at this food sample? We found it in Coral Cove Park. This food is highly unique. It's a kind of sea cheese, and it's only found in Tetra Caves, and it's typically only eaten by sea monsters. Jackpot! Mm-hmm. Just as I suspected. Come to think of it. Look at this key I found the other day. It has traces of the same food substance on it. Why don't you take it? It may come in handy for you. Thanks, Casey. Luther, we should have a look inside this Tetra Cave for clues. That's not going to do me any good. Could I trade this card for a different one? Which card would you like to trade for? I don't know. I'd better hang on to it for now. Fine and dandy.
You lost the magnet, Freddy. Oh well, we don't need it anymore. A magnet was all we needed to get the metal over here. The attraction is obvious. It fits perfectly into the blank spot on your uniform. Of course it does. Thank you both. Do you still need the drill book? No, nope, you can have it. Thanks. Mumbo. Sea cheese curds. Zamphir alert. Freaky styly. Lead fin. Freaky styly. They're already doing that drill. Freaky Styly. Zamphir Alert. Zamphir Alert. I don't care what town you're from. I don't care what town you're from. When Zamphir's near, it's time to run. When Zamphir's near, it's time to run. 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 Get away. Get away. Wow, everybody's afraid of this damn fear. At least we got the Tetris to move out of our way. Yes, that was the key. Finally, we're in. It sure is dark in here. This is creepy. Let's leave. Not so fast. We need something to light up the cave so we can look for clues. Oh, yeah. Perfect. The glow necklace lights up the whole cave. Whew. I feel better already. Now we can look around for clues to where the sea monster is. One, P. 
pick up some sea cheese. 2. Scare townspeople away from my home. 3. Order 50 pounds of taffy for delivery. This must be the sea creature's to-do list. Are you sure? I am positive. We need to find the address of this 50 pound taffy delivery. That must be where the sea monster lives. a large amount of taffy for delivery today? Say, 50 pounds of taffy? Woo! That rings a bell somewhere, but I don't remember any details. Is there any way to find that information? Yeah, if I could remember the password to my computer, we could look it up. What's your pet's name? Mother's maiden name? Nope. I had the password written down on the back of a trading card. But then I traded the trading card. Tell us more about that trading card. Well, I seem to recall it had a picture of a professional bowler on one side. My password was written on the other side. Got that, Luther? Congressional molar. Yep, I've got it. Here's a written description of the card. If you can find it, I could get into my computer and look up my delivery records. We'll see what we can do. Here you go, Freddy. I'd like to trade this card for the professional bowler trading card, please. Let's see. Here you go. It was nice trading with you. You too. Thanks. on that big 50-pound order you sent out today? You bet! That order went to Smartswood Hole, the deepest crevice in the ocean! That must be where the sea monster lives! Let's go! 
Rise up, citizens! Reclaim what is yours! What is ours? Yeah, what is ours? Let's oust the sea monster from his evil lair! Let's make Coral Cove Park a safe and fun place for the whole family! Yeah, oust the sea monster! We're all behind you, Marty! Look at the size of that crevice. Are you ready, Luther? Mm. Yeah, no fear, Freddy. Darken Zephyr's doorstep! It's just Freddy Fish and Luther. Oh, you're that famous kid detective, aren't you? You've succeeded in finding my new home. What do you mean, your new home? A certain greedy developer drove me out of my real home, Coral Cove Park. He claimed it as his own and turned it into a tourist attraction. You must mean Marty. Why did Marty develop the cove if it belongs to you? Marty has a lot of gall. I have a deed to prove I own this cove, and that didn't stop him. That's bunk. There is no such deed. Zamfir, show us the deed. If what you say is true, Marty is in real trouble. It's right here. Was right here! The deed has been stolen! The deed is gone! And so is Marty. Things are going from bad to worse. Zamfir, we're going to get that deed back for you. We won't stand for this kind of injustice. Let's go, Luther. I know where Marty lives. Here we are at Marty's house. It looks more like a compound to me. Let's just stay calm. If we can get in, I know we can find Zamfir's deed. Ew! This rubber ducky is all slimy. It's a dog toy, Freddy. I guess you're right. We'll hold on to it anyway. Dogfish, get your rubber ducky. He loves it. Now we can get past him. If you say so. Hmm, this looks interesting. It's a medium weight. Who knows? It might come in handy. It's some kind of weight. Hmm. I'll hold on to it for now. Could be useful. Shh! Look! We can see into the other room.
<laughs> no one will find Xamphia's deed now. Not with it safely locked in my wool safe and the combination cleverly hidden in this fake book. <laughs> to get the safe combination out of that fake book. Then we can get Zamfir's deed back to him, right, Freddy? Exactly. Then we can put an end to this mystery once and for all. Look at that tiny window. Maybe we can get out that way. I'm right behind you, Freddy. Sweet freedom! Not so fast. We need to go back and get the deed. That fits nicely, but it doesn't weigh very much. Now we're getting somewhere. That does the trick. Grrr. Oof. We can't get in this way. It only opens from the inside. We need to get that fake book with a combination inside, but the bookshelf is facing the wrong way. Revolving bookshelves are such a pain. I wonder how we can get around to the other side. The door's unlocked now. This candle might help us. I think I'll borrow it for a while. That's not going to do me any good. That's not going to do me any good. The chandelier changed to blue. I guess Marty enjoys looking at himself. I feel like Marty is watching us. should be in a candlestick holder.
Once we have the combination, we'll be able to get into that safe. I think the position of this base means something. Let's borrow it for a minute until we figure it out. Somehow I think going through this door is still going to put us on the wrong side of the bookcase. Look, Freddy! It's my favorite book! Old Yellerfin! Luther! You knocked a book out of Marty's bookcase! Huh? <laughs> it's the fake book. With the combination, we can get into Marty's safe and get Sam Deed back. This key must be important, too. I'm going to hold on to it until we get the deed. The chandelier changed to yellow. The vase's position means something. Let's try it here. What's it? Six. Five. One. One. Enter. Here's the deed. It says that Coral Cove Park belongs to Zamphir Duncan Dogberry Valentine. Just like Zamphir said it would. Security! Security! I got intruders in the compound! I got intruders in the compound! It's martial law! It's anarchy! Security! How'd you get in? You're all under arrest! Hold up right there! I understand there's a dispute over the rightful owner of Coral Cove Park. What's this about? Marty should be under arrest for theft. This deed proves that Coral Cove belongs to Zamphir. Is this true? Marty, have you any defense? Now I see why Zamphir turned into such a scary sea monster. Marty ruined his home. This whole mess is Marty's doing. This deed I'm holding proves that Zamphir Duncan Dogberry Valentine owns Coral Cove. Hip hip hooray! I am sorry for scaring you all away. I was only trying to stop Marty. Thanks to Freddy and Luther, we stopped him once and for all. Marty's community service hours will keep him busy cleaning up this mess for a long, long time. As the rightful owner, you can choose what happens with Coral Cove Park. What do you think?
Let's bring down these walls and this gate. We can all play in Coral Cove Park now.